moments later hello guys welcome back to my channel this time i will show you on how to disable permanently automatic windows update or in windows 11 but uh, before we will start guys shout out to all my idol out there thank you very much to all your support and if you are new guys to my channel then if you know that this video is very helpful to you please don't forget to subscribing my channel like share and hit the bell button so that you are updated to my next vlog Okay guys, please watch this full video. Hello everyone. In this video guys, I will show you uh, two types of uh, disabled automatic update on Windows 11. So the first one, so I will show you on how to temporarily disable automatic update on Windows 11. And then the second one or the last one is we will uh, permanently disable automatic updates on Windows 11. So okay guys, uh, we will start. So all we have to do is we will click the search bar, set search box, so we'll click this one, and then it will automatically uh, pop up the windows. And then now we will write the update in the search box. Okay, once we write update, it will show you that check for update guys. Okay, so we will select date this for update. So we will click this one. Okay, we will wait this one guys. Uh, there is uh, pop up another window. Have you seen that one, guys? Uh, my windows is already uh, updated. So, windows update, you see that one? It says you are updated. So, we will uh, no need to check for update because it's shown that you are up to date. So, in that temporarily disabled windows update, guys, there is a post update for seven days. Okay, and if you need more time, guys, we have uh, advanced options. So, we can click this one and back option so from here guys and then make sure guys that we will turn off everything and then there is post update guys so we will select this uh, post uh, update it is temporarily post updates from being installed on this device for up to 35 days only guys so when you reach the post limit your device will need to get new updates before you can post again so this is what i told you guys uh, this is a uh, temporarily disabled so we will click this click at the update guys okay guys have you seen this one guys you already click this one guys so it's up to you guys okay uh, which uh, date and month you want to click this one guys this is what i mean that this is a temporarily disabled windows update once you click any one of this month you want so it's up to you guys so let's see we will take this one august august 15 so we already selected so i will click uh, go back so then so have you seen this one in the windows update it says uh, update post your device won't be up to date while update are post update will resume on 8 15 to 2021 you know guys because we already uh selected the date so this is what i told you guys that this is the temporarily uh, disabled windows update okay guys now we will close this one guys so we will uh, go to so permanently disable automatic update um take note guys uh the first one because we are going to perman permanently disable with automatic windows update so first of all we will uh disable windows update services don't forget that one guys this is the first step that we need to disable windows update ser service okay guys so disable windows update so we need to click again this uh search uh, box so it will pop up and then we will write the services guys so have you seen that one guys there is already services so we will click this one guys now that we already take the services guys it will uh, pop up another uh, windows now we need to scroll down this one guys because we will uh, look for windows update or we will find the windows update okay have you seen this one guys this is uh the windows update we will double click this one guys and then it will pop up so we have here in windows update properties local computer so select disable guys in the startup type so we will select the disabled but below in the start 
time guys if you see the service status have you seen that one guys it's uh, running so we need to click stop this one ready finish okay have you seen that one guys it's uh we already stop so we will select apply guys and click okay okay guys so we already finish I hope it will uh, work but the service uh, already stopped okay so we will close this one guys okay guys now we are going uh, permanently uh, di uh, disable automatic windows update so make sure guys in the single step we will disable the update in group policy okay so again we will go back to click the search and then it will pop up again guys so we will write the group uh, policy so have you seen that one guys below there is edit group policy so we will click this uh, edit group policy guys okay now it's pop up guys okay guys now have you seen that one guys there are computer configuration software settings window settings and administrative templates so we will click this one guys uh, we will select the administrative template and then we will search the windows component guys this one so have you seen this one guys windows component so we will click this one guys uh, the windows uh, components okay now uh, we will scroll down so that uh, we will find or we will search the windows update okay guys this one is the windows update so we will click this windows update guys okay guys uh, after we click the windows update uh, if you can see there are many options guys in the right side so we will find the configure automatic update okay so this one guys have you seen this one guys if you read this one configure automatic update okay guys so we will uh, double click this uh, configure automatic update and then it will pop up another uh, windows guys so we are here in configure automatic update if you can see guys it's not uh, currently configure if you want to configure guys so we will select this enable and then we will scroll down because we will uh, there is an option guys if you want and every week first week of the month second week of the month third week of the month and fourth week of the month you can co you can configure the automatic updates guys so here we there is also an automatic uh, uh, auto download notify to install and they notify for download and auto install auto download and schedule the install allow local admin to show settings allow download notify to install notify to restart so you can configure or you can select this any option guys that is in convenient to you guys but uh, for now guys i'm not trying to completely disable the windows so now because we are going to completely uh, disable automatic windows update so now we are going to select this disable guys so we will click this disable there there we go so then we'll select the apply guys and click ok ok we will choose this windows guys so we'll try to check if it is working so again we will take this search icon and then it will pop up again so we will write update and then below guys have you seen this one check for update so we will click this update then it will pop up okay guys have you seen this one guys there there is an error because we already uh, disabled permanently the automatic windows update so have you seen this one guys windows update something uh, some settings are managed by your organization view policies you can also click this uh simply we will, we will click also this one the view policies guys so that uh, we all know what we did in our uh, settings so okay we'll click this one now we are here in a view configured updates okay you can see the policies set on your device guys so disable there is a uh, disable automatic update okay guys and these are the policies that we already changed uh, i will go back again guys uh, in this uh, windows update once you see the in this uh, red color about some settings are managed by your organization it see it means that we already completely completely disabled permanently the automatic windows update okay guys if you know that this video is very helpful to you guys please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like share and hit the bell button so that you are updated to my next vlog
Thank you guys.